Hey y'all, this is Ursa and welcome back to The Long War. It's time once again. Yep. That's what I was about to say. Uh, the French are leaving. Uh, okay. We killed this thing. We have sectopods, we have drones, we have mectoids, sectoids, and outsiders. Five distinct species. We actually have them all listed. Uh, for the first time in a while. So let's drop a crew on here and see what we can do. Right there, we got Yoko Command. Actually, we're just going to see who's going to command. Let me clear this out for a sec. Uh, we'll take our Nova sitting there. She's about to get gene modded up. We'll take Spike out, I guess. I was going to take uh, Hank. Eh, not Hank. Uh, Leif, but he already went on a mission. So, because he's usually our infiltration specialist. But okay. Spike is ready to go. We need a sniper. We can get Yoko Command. Well, I guess sniper slot will fill in later. Uh, don't we have another Rocketeer? We have Josie down here. We'll get Josie running. Josie is fine. Let's go with... Yeah, who are we taking on the other position? Ash is the other gene mod, because we need a rapid-fire gunner from close range, so she's going to get modded up. She's going to space marine up pretty quick, and those will be the last two. Basically, when those two are done, when she and Nova are done getting gene modded, that's who we'll use. Um, that'll be our cue that the game is toward end game. I'm going to see if I can get her up at another side level, though. Well, am I even going to have the opportunity to do so? That's a damn good question, because she's one of the last gene mods we have. Science Spire is already good enough. Let's just not have her get killed, and they'll screw up my entire plan. Let's get another gunner out here. Get Tyler the Creator, who moves not. Or we can get Honest Chewy. It's just a small shoot down. There's a guaranteed shred, and we have some heat here. I think we'll be okay with just raw firepower. Uh, what can we roll out next? We need a double mech here as well. So, I haven't seen Rat Dog out in a while. Let's get Rat Dog up in here. I haven't seen him in quite some time. And we could run. Do we have a Boom Boom Shogun available? We do. We can get Hellfire out there. And that works for me. We have a hit and run from our scout. That works. Gunner Rocketeer. Uh, kind of the engineering role. So we're not going to take a capture, but that's okay. At this point, we really don't need it too hard and Marauder is most definitely an assault role so I feel like you can take an infantry pretty comfortably so let's go ahead and take I haven't seen Yorg out there in a while man let's have Yorg pop a bear a little bit and we'll get Yoko as the commanding officer here unless we don't have a medic and we have to take Ray oh, we could get Zoid out there Zoid's already been space marined up that wouldn't be too bad let's get Yoko commanding this up and we'll get Zoid out as our medic. That should work just fine. Perfect. Alright. Well, let's set this up. Let's get going Get going to town, so to speak. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense anymore. I can't read it right. Okay, let's go ahead. Since you do have Ranger, right? Yeah. So you're perfect with someone running a mech assault roll, so you can get that and you get your long-range pistol shot. We can be perfectly well-suited for this. Uh, let's get the chameleon suit on as well as... Kite and plates. Got to fade the manch. Donna Russell is ready to go with the storm gun and a bit of Archangel, a bit of Blaster Launchy, and a Neural Gunlink. Perfect. Yes, we have a lot of those, but we need them for the last mission. I think I have everything built practically too, so that helps a lot. What kind of mission is this? Where are we loaded? Heavy Veg. You have Honest Shuey the Flying Dragon. I think we should. Flying Dragon wouldn't hurt here. And you have Executioner already. And you are Psychic, though, so this is good. Where's that Neural Gunlink for you? You weren't before, so this is new. New and interesting. Walker Servos and also Chitin Plating because you are squishy. You are squishy and floaty and full of lead. Okay. Marauder, take the Vindy, take the Particle Cannon, take uh, the Close Range stuff, Flamethrower, KSM, and EMP. Carbide core and a bit of BC to round out the package. Shogun load out. Take the Dauntless, part of the cannon, the proxy, the grenade, the bears, and the grenades. Carbide core BC baby. All right, solid. Yorg, I'll give you the good stuff. Heavy plasma, Titan armor. Uh, give you the walker servos. You have execution already, so we don't need to run an illuminator on you. Um, they'll save that for Yoko. So we'll pretty much that. Chitin plate and a neural gun link to make sure you can hit your target like a boss. Uh, Yoko, because she is not of the psychic 
caliber core type thing. We're going to give you a reflex rifle. You can operate well enough with that. Mauler, uh, Illuminator, Bipod, and Stellarator. Perfect. Stella! There you go. Perfect. And last but not least, the Zoid. Hi, the Zoid. All right, let's go with the Titan Armor. Your aim is awful. So, Carbine for you. Double Med Kit. And I kind of need a smoke here, don't I? I feel like that might not be a bad idea. I can get a shadow device, too. Let's get a shadow device. What the hey? Titan armor, double med You don't need that many med kits, though, on this mission. Do that, and let's take that into chem. Yeah, kind of, kind of flexible. Flexible build here. Okay. All right, I think that's a solid crew. Everyone's got armor. Everyone's got their roll. We got three flyers couple more tankies. We should be good. Alright, let's take this mission on. Aircraft transfer complete. Aircraft transfer complete. Oh, goody. Goody freaking gumdrops. Touching down. Begin the assault. Begin the assault. The next deployment site is in the UK. The Our UK? No went down way. In a remote area. But we have to secure the site before the aliens recover any survivors. Unpossible. As, as Zoidberg's like, man, it's been a while since I was on a mission. I have all these gene mods and nothing to put it in. Don't worry, buddy. We'll send you on the big, long base raid soon. Apparently the French are going to leave. As apparently something is whistling violently and aggressively. All right, give me one second. I'll deal with that, folks. Hey y'all, okay, we're back, we're back, minor real life thing dealt with, so let's continue the mission. Fun and profit for everyone, or something along those lines, that's what I tell okay. myself. Fifteen aliens on this mission, not a sign of any of them for now, let's see. Still no sign, so we can move up very aggressively. Let's do this. this flare and we'll still be fine. Let's get Yorg up there. Understood, moving up. Let's get the Chewy. Right around Good here. Let's get Yoko up there. We can I'm rolling. We can keep her out there a little bit. Hellfire can get up here. I'm on it, Commander. Josie can get right there. Moving. And our big mech on campus. Rat dog can get there. Josie can steady. Josie can steady. Everyone else will give us an overwatch. Alright. Let's see where the A's are at. That is where I launched. Indeed. I mean, we know what's out here. We know what's out here on the mission, so... I'm on it, Commander. Come on, Hellfire. Give me that good old-fashioned ass-kicking. Alright. Spike sees nothing. Aye, aye, Commander. We'll set up the motion track over here. What we got on the tracker? Still not a zip zilch. Oh, we got something. We got two, in fact. Okay, so now we know where the alien presence is. The UFO is there. Look, there's a pack right next to the UFO. So we try to angle ourselves directly north. Look, there's a pack right there in the shadow. And if we angle this way, there's a pack right there in the shadow. So these might hit us at the same time, which is, you know, never fun, but bearable. We just got to be careful not to cheat over too much to the right, unless we trigger them prematurely. Yes, Premature triggering is a thing. It happens to a lot of guys. Let's not let it happen here. Toggle Ignition. flight. Okay, get up here. Um, let's get it right around there. That should be a good place for ass kicking with the dragon, or with the Jabibski. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta keep that lineup, that uh, progression going. Your get up here, Yoko. I feel like she needs to go airborne too soon. So we're about to get contact. Josie really doesn't have to. Josie can kind of get back here and get me a steady, and that should be enough. Yoko should go airborne though, and with her beyond visual range overwatch ability, this should be very, very handy to deal with whatever comes our way. And there are two things potentially coming our way. All right, Zoid, uh, we could put him here. He does have opportunist though. We can move him if need be, I think. So we'll give him an overwatch. He does have opportunist. He does have cover destruction capability, so he should be fine. Lock it in, lock it down, Providing lock it forward, lock it backward, give me an overwatch. And there we go, first pack is active. Here they come. Looks like a sectopod. Is that sectopod going to come up and say hi? No, he's going to back off in the worst possible place. So that's how we can't get eyes on the guy, which is unfortunate. Zuko's going to miss his first 54% shot, as expected. 
Not because he's a bad job, but because there's moving aerial targets. Okay. Pack from the right did not trigger. We're going to double check to make sure it's still in position. We're going to abuse this. Yep. Completely still in position. Spike is going to help us activate the Overwatch courtesy of La Sectopood. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Incoming fire. Yep. That'll Visual do it. On the good. Visual on my goods. All right. Let's see. Yorg, you've got some good shots. Let's get them done, shall we? Can we do kills? Almost. Try that again, Yorg. Can we do kills? There's one. Ah, I got him. I got him, man. Hey, hey, got the Afrikaans, man. All right, get this little down here. Uh, can we not reach? Oh, we don't have javelins, which means we're just out of range for the shredder. Really, that kind of sucks. All right, flying Jabibski, or rather, flying with Jabibski. What do we got? You can actually hit the shred. Nice, girl. All right. So we're still in a bit of a rough patch. Uh, not too badly. All right. No, these are all flying targets, I think. You're flying? Yeah, you're flying. Okay. Well, that's not optimal. Let's get the Jabibski doing some work here. We need to get this Sectopod down a bit. And he's the most dangerous thing on the map right now, so let's go ahead and do it. Six shredded. Are you a special Sectopod or are you just kind of normal kind of hill? Let's see. You are a Sectopod destroyer! With heat ammo and everything. That could really, really hurt. That could sting on our mech, especially with hit and run. Not a fan. Let's try to use that big gun to its best capability with the shred. And that is a ridiculously roll roll. Row roll. Low roll, even with the shred. That's crazy. We need a little bit of extra work from our team up top here. Now, Zuko is also in kind of a bad spot on hit and run. Yeah, this is kind of an unfortunate setup for us, actually. You will not see the Sectopod from here. That's kind of the idea, actually, as weird as that sounds. I'm busy. Take a shot here. So Yoko can probably execute that. Can we execute that one though? That's really going to be an annoying one. Make sure this thing can't get heals. That's the biggest issue. I can guarantee no heals on the thing. That's going to help Go out. On. Then any damage we do to it, unless repair servos, which we'll probably have in at some point, we can pretty much guarantee less pain Take all around. Here. See how much less the uh, grenade range is on not an archer? Kind of crazy when you think about it. I may just set her on Overwatch in that case. The rat, the dog, the man, the legend. Uh, are you going to be outside of Sectopod range here? You are. Yeah, Sectopod's really pretty far out, actually. Which I'm okay with, like I said. Um, this keeps our mechs a little safer. Hi. Overkill, yes. Am I complaining? Maybe. Alright, so we'll set that on Overwatch. Yoko, you'll need to drop the other thing here. I mean, Spike won't be able to drop it anyway. Just in case, like that, those drones are pretty hardened targets. I'll give them that much. The armor on the drones is not slacked at all. Very good. Oh, and let's go ahead and take a swing at this thing. Well, Yoko doesn't get free reloads, so I feel like a reload on Yoko would be wise. I want Zoid to get up here, primarily because Zoid will be able to provide us with... Chems? Yeah, but I don't want him to get that close to the thing. about here? You be okay here? You probably will be okay here. So I want to get chems up, if possible, and that'd be slick. Okay, so Yoko, go ahead and give me your reload here. I think that's going to be worthwhile. And we're going to have to take this thing full frontal. It should be interesting. That looks pissed. That's a miss. Looked really pissed. Are you going to set up rockets or are you going to take another shot, you cheesy little bastard? You are setting up rockets, I think. Yeah, he's setting up rockets. Okay. Well, that's pretty tame compared to what he could have done to my face, so I'm pretty happy about that. We still have our gunnar in the sky here. Uh, we can get another good round in. I mean, I feel like just we should keep this going. We've been getting... Yeah... Zoid would have to push himself into a pretty rough position to avoid to get the chems down. This thing is tanky as hell without a really crazy source. Yeah, look at this. I don't think I can even get the chems in a sane kind of situation here because I need to move up a lot more to get the chem in there. You don't have bombard, so 
Not a great spot to be in. Josie, on the other hand, can maybe finally get me some much needed heat love up here. To destroy the mechanical target. Yeah, let's get it right around here. Keep the meld up. I mean, the meld's not going to be worth much right now, but it's worth the swing. Josie, give me some show. Bam! 11. Alright, this its own destruction will likely destroy the melt container. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Not hoping, but definitely expecting to happen. Zuko can't really mainline this yet. He's not close enough to get a nice EMP off. But he's going to be able to do some good work on it. We should be able to get this thing down, I'm thinking. With the shred and the big guns we're leveraging, we should be alright. Barring some really bad luck. I'm on the move. Or some untoward activation to the right. Luckily, we did not do it. Good. I guess we can ping it down. We missed the 99. 1 HP. Of course. It's always 1 HP, right? It's always a 1 HP survival. Inevitably. Alright, Yor, get up here. I'm just a little worried about triggering that right side again. No, Yor, get over here. You might be able to get a nice overwatch on whatever packs there. If it's still there. Yoko's got an easy kill here. We'll probably give to her, just because everyone else could probably do with some reloading. And Spike can go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do this to be efficient with our reloads. Yep, there goes the meld, as expected. Fine, we'll live with it. Yor, give me the reload. Zoidberg, give me the overwatch. Spike, give me the reload. Oh, it's moving and reload. Don't want to trigger that, but we will know it's there soon. Okay. See if the other pack wakes up and runs into us here. It's a small UFO, so there shouldn't be that much more on the map here. Okay. Red Dog, give me the uh, reload. We still hear the another Stompy. Another Sectopod? They double Sectopoded this. Clever bastards. Alright. Uh, take the Dragon Reload. I'm going to probably use a Battle Scanner to figure out where I should walk it into. On the move. On the move. Alright, Josie, steady that up for extra range. Yeah, I'm feeling like I don't want to tempt fate Hanging here. Let's see what we're about to walk into, because last time I checked, it was allegedly pretty nasty. Let's see. It could be yeah, very gnarly very quickly. Let's get right here. That might give us what the intel we need. Or may give us the intel that we're able to move into there freely. That's all, of course, part of the game here. No, it looks like we're clear there. Do we see any... We don't see any Cheetos, really? No floating orange crystals of joy. No, we do not. Okay. We're probably up in this corner, then, unless there's something out outside the UFO. That's a little disconcerting, because my intel, then, is not solid, as I would like. Cover position okay. to engage. We'll live with it. Uh, get Yoko up another tile, fly up, make sure we're ready for whatever my patrol. Uh, Zoid kind of get up here, I guess. Roger that. Rogered. Roger, Roger. All right, get that loaded up. Uh, Shui, get up here and reload the dragon. Yep. Reloaded. Solid. And Yorg. Just give me an Overwatch, man. I mean, the hell? Why not? Is what you do. Ah, it's still out there, though. Alone out here. There we go. No, it entered. It entered. It's a Leviathan. Okay, cool. They just... Man, they're mass-producing those suckers now. Out of the game. Took me a while to kill the guy. Oh, it's not... Uh, it might not be a Leviathan, actually. Could be a Vulcan Necro. It doesn't look as, quite as imposing as the other one. Alright, cool. Good job, everyone. That's a, that's a decent kill. What kind of mech are you? Oh, really? You don't see him? Damn it. I very rarely get to use to light him up, it feels like. Okay. Le oh, it is a Leviathan. Uh, I just, that's just all they give us now. There's nothing that's not a Leviathan. No two things are not on fire. All right, let's get Spike up here. I'm on the move. Trigger off that Overwatch, because that needs to not happen. Oh, we got hit the Rallying Reflexes. That's cute. So 13 damage in the face. That's probably the... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. He gets the double Overwatch thing. If both of those hit, I'd be I'm pretty pissed. Uh, so that's really not so good. Uh, but that's about the third or fourth time it's failed this entire campaign, so overall that's pretty good. Dubivsky, I need you to shred the hell out of this thing. Might be able to get a chem down though this time. He's a lot closer. And this would let 
Well, how, what is the line on paramedic? I haven't used ability so much that uh, I'm not really sure. Where is paramedic? Where is it? Paramedic. There we go. Once returned, may use a make it without spending an action. Free action cannot be used. Same turn as reloading, lock and load. Cool. We're gonna get up here. We're gonna yes, fix commander. our scout. And then we're gonna go and camp the crap out of this guy. Then we're gonna shred him. Then we're gonna kill him. That's the plan. Is Zoidberg doing what he does best, which is a little bit of everything? Let's get a chem down. We're reducing some DR like a boss. Okay. How's the aim on our gunner? My guess is pretty good. Let's let the Jabibski roll. In memory of, let's go. Wait, do you have reactives? Uh, you do have reactives, but we are at squad site range. Do we want to test tempt fate just a little bit here? Kind of do. How lucky are you feeling today, Spike? Missed the 81. Are you serious? Damn All right. It. Enemy is still alive. You get hit twice. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so she took here. three shots of that thing. Got nailed the once. Overall, it's pretty good. Can we get this thing a little better now? Good God. There we go. A little bit to the dome. Now let's go with the shred. Probably should have shredded first. I was being efficient, but I think we have enough firepower to drop this thing. Eight shreds. Still got the two DR on it. No fun, but, you know, there's always tomorrow. Nine and two. It is a big thing. They keep throwing these giant meat piles at us. It is irritating. Uh, let's see. Hellfire, you do not see what I need you to see. Which is not great. You can get up there, though. Rat dog has no fear. Let's go ahead and shoot some stuff. Rat dog, shoot him. Get him! Get him! 15 2 DR. And last but not least, we'll be able to chunk that sucker down. So we don't really need that damage in. You are going to be able to shift over and see this thing at some point? Or no? Not easily, actually. Yorg has got a bit of a rough patch to see that enemy. I guess we might have to use Hellfire after all. That's fine. Well, Yoko, go ahead and drop the drone real quick. Because that could be problematic. I don't want that thing to heal. And drones are an annoyance. Dead and gone. Handled, baby. Okay. So now we can probably drop that thing. We might be able to give Josie a kill with this. What the hell? I mean, we have the rocket. Might as well. We can probably just use a shred, actually. Mainly. Because we can do enough damage with the shred. Let's get a little elevated shred going. Can we not get a nice little happy shred position here? Not really. Okay, well... We had a good one here. It looked like we have one that hits both a second ago here. Okay, a little lower then. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's get a shred right in there. With the heat, it should kill. It'll give Josie some much needed XP. Yep. Handle it. Beautiful. Okay, that'll be taken care of. I want to give Yoko the reload. So what I'm going to do here is take the collateral damage on the sectoid here. Firing on Drop his ass. Position. Thank you. And Yorg can now get up here and execute him, or Yoko can hit the reload. Let's take the obvious reload. I think it's the last A on the map currently. Which should be fine, what we're looking at. 11, so four left. Would that possibly be consistent with a bigger than normal command pack? Locked Could be. Loaded. Yeah, it could well be. All right, I gotta be careful, but nothing else is active, right? Yeah, everything dead. Everything active is dead. So let's reload and see on the open a little bit. Ready to rock, man. All right, what else we got? Just the command pack. Okay. Well, we'll take the reloads and we'll start moving in for the breach. Not really expecting much here. Along the lines of resistance still on the map, so we'll burn some extra fuel trying to get over there. Heading to that location. I just want to get my mech up front. Should we get... Get yourself over here. How much more fuel do you have after this? Eight flight fuel. That's sufficient. All right. It's Lock that in. Time. It is killing time. She's so mad about it. It's All killing right. time. By the way, in case you didn't know, it is the time for the killing. Okay. Okay, load up. We're going to have to get a battle scanner in there edgewise, though. Just this. I want to make sure I know exactly where my enemies are at this point. 
Oh, Josie, yeah. I was like, where the hell is my grin? Uh, there it is. Uh, you better not activate there as the last move. Moving Let's be safer with you. We got not a zip zilch. Okay. Aye, aye, Commander. Give me some intel. I need to know. I must know where the enemy is. I need to get some eyes inside this UFO. Can you do that to me? No, uh, I can't really do it for me from this direction, can you? Well, we kind of can, actually. There we go. We can get it right there. That should give me the intel I need. So what I'm facing, too. Four seems a pretty big command pack for a tiny UFO. And that battle scanner fell through the map and gave us no intel. There's something out there. Okay, so something on the right side. Good to know. Oh, we don't move to that side, don't reveal yourself. Heading to that Good. location. So now we know kind of the angle, at least, that battle scanner throw pissed them off enough to have them make a little bit of noise, a little bit of shimmy. Roger we did that. the shimmy. Oh, God, Zoidberg. Holy shit. Okay. I was a little worried there with that trajectory. I thought it was going to be close enough, and we started running. I was like, oh, maybe it's too close. It's too close. All right. Let's get Josie right around there. Let's get Natty kind of right about gosh, half height here. That might give her what we need through that doorway. Yoko, kind of the same deal. Get half height flight. There we go. That's perfect. Your pop up this way. Again, right. I don't want to activate that. Can I get on the door here then? I don't want you to go that way. I want you to go this way. Fine. I'll do the hard way. Okay. Uh, rat dog. Yeah, get a little closer. This one tile, maybe there's even rat dog getting a good shot and rat dog getting screwed over, so let's not screw rat dog too much. Uh, Zoid? That should be fine. Perfect. Good weave. Uh, steady. You just end the turn. And we'll pop open the door next turn. Okay. Time to see what we've won. It's not going to be pleasant. I've got a visual. Yep, we got the visual. Um, wait, didn't it say 15? This is only 13. Oh no, it's 13 with five different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is standard. I was being way too like, oh my god, we're all gonna die, kind of situation. That's kind of silly. All right, shoot some stuff. We need to get hollow up on that guy. This guy probably also has CQC, so you're gonna be a little careful. You'll get eyes on both of them. This is fine. Perfect. Okay. Zoid, you have PK strike, right? You do. Let's surgically destroy this guy's cover a bit. There we go. We're gonna handle one of these guys. He's the big dude, and I don't really want to mess with him too much. Alright, and we can suppress the other guy down. So let's just unload everything on this guy right now. Then we'll suppress the other feller down. We don't have capture equipment with us, so this should be relatively a couple of Wow, Yorg is just wrecking face right now, seriously. Dude knows what's up. And that one was four damage. What the hell happened? Did you graze that one? You did 15 and then you did four. What? Okay, that, even with the game's usual tolerances for, you know. Uh, what the hell was that about? That's very strange. That is very strange. I mean, I know he probably has damage control and a couple other little toys to play with, but seriously, that's that's a big difference in damage. This went from like doing ridiculous damage to like barely scratching him. It's kind of fucked up, actually. Um, let's get to break him up. 98%. Well, that'll scratch him. Boom. To the dome. Hostile okay. removed from play. Hostile indeed removed from play. Okay, let's suppress this guy down. Right you don't do nothing funny. The Jabibski doing good work in the hands of the Honest Shui, indeed. Yoko try to ping this guy down a bit. Let's soften him up. Hey, damage works for me. Might have to take this one a little more surgically than normal. Um, purely because he's staying next to a computer, and I'd rather have that thing whole, if possible. Fractured, but whole. Haha, <laughs> get it. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that's... I stole that joke from South Park, but I'm going to take credit for it anyway. Get up here. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to shoot through that lest my urge to destroy gets the computer blown up. Might as well get another one of those. It's worth money at the very least. 
You move, you die. Oh, he's gonna get reactives in his face. Please don't break the computer, Zuko. Don't break the computer. Don't break the computer. In the dome. Beautiful shot. We didn't break the computer. Newsflash. We did Another it right. Day. Another successful operation. Operation Soaring Law went well. Operation Feculent Jester, or whatever the hell that last one was. It was something in Jester. Didn't go so good. So, France is gonna leave again. Second time they've surrendered so far in the invasion. I'll leave that one with no comment, like and we'll keep sure moving. Boost everyone's confidence. Oh, yeah. Well done, everyone's Commander. confidence. We got, like, zero meld from that. <laughs> yeah, they have basically no meld to give at this point. Go to the green market, sell the stuff that was broken. Again, it was like that when I got there. So, alright, 45 extra creds, not too bad. But like I said, we are going to lose a lot of cash uh, starting at the beginning of the month. Because we're going to lose the continent bonus uh, courtesy of France leaving. Satellite uplink we're looking at um, monthly X funding increase by 20%. So we take a look at it really quickly. 20% uh, versus our current finances. Uh, we're making gross monthly income about two grand. 20% is going to be about 400 thereabouts, which is not cheap. So that's going to bring us down to plus 65 or so, give or take. So that's, you know, no income for the month, basically, because France left. Fun! But let's see. We also have a couple zero hours for Dane to finish his stuff in the gene lab, which means that uh, I will catch you all next time on the long whore and we'll get someone else in the gene lab. That's all that means. Joy. All right. Till next time. Till then.